Hi there, and welcome to today's tutorial. We're going to look at chapter 1, which is Restless Earth, of the Junior Certificate Examination course. Remember guys, to if you want more of our videos, to check out our website, examvision.ie. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com forward slash examvision, and follow us on Twitter and Instagram for our latest news and updates. So the first thing we're going to look at is the structure of the Earth. So here is the earth, okay, and as you can see, the earth has is made up of four layers, okay. So the first layer is the crust, then you've got the mantle, you've got the outer core, and you've got the inner core. For your junior certificate examination, they just you just need to know the crust, the mantle, and then the core. So like I said, all you need to know for your junior certificate examination is the crust, the mantle, and the core. So the crust is the Earth's outer skin, and it consists of solid rock. The crust is very thin, it's much thinner than the other three layers. It's 10 uh, kilometers underneath the oceans, and around 60 kilometers underneath the continents. And the crust contains the Earth's plates. The next layer is the mantle, and the mantle is ho has hot, soft rock underneath the crust. The rock is in a molten state, so it's magma, it's liquid. And it flows around in slow moving uh, currents, which are called convection currents. We'll come to that later on. And the last one, the centerpiece, is called the core. The core is the center of the Earth. The temperature is the highest in the core, with over 6,000 degrees Celsius in temperature. So, the Earth's crust is broken up into many different sections. And as you can see, it's got these different sections all around here and these areas here are known as plates and plates float on the heavy semi-molten rock which is the magma and the plates are that move because of convection currents in the magma they move very slowly and this process is called continental drift because of the powerful convection currents in the magma the plates either separate some plates collide and some plates slide past each other. So three major plate boundaries are formed because of the convection currents uh, causing the plates to move. So you've got we've got three different types of plate boundaries. And you need to know the three different types of plate boundaries. The first one is destructive plate boundaries. And destructive plate boundaries is when plates collide against each other, so they're in collision. The second one is constructive, and constructive plate boundary is when plates are in separation and are actually pulling apart from each other. So this one's in collision, these one are in separation, and the last one is called transform. Or conservative. Plate boundary. And this is when they slide past each other. Now for your junior certificate examination. You need to know these three types of plate boundaries. And you need to know what landforms are are created and the characteristics of each of these different plate boundary. Okay, so the first plate we're going to look at is uh, the destructive plate boundary. And this is when two plates are crashing against each other. Okay, so two plates, um, one is moving one direction, the other is moving in the other direction. And these plates crash against each other and it's usually when you've got a continental and an oceanic plate and if it is a an oceanic and a continental plate the oceanic plate will subduct okay so it'll be the one that will be forced down because it's the heavier more dense plate at destructive plate boundaries you tend to get fold mountains and the reason you get fold mountains as you can see here get full mountains here is because the plates is crashing against each other and this is causing this plate to buckle up and create these fold mountains 
An example of these fold mountains that are created would be the Rocky Mountains in North America. At destructive plate boundaries, you also get earthquakes. And this is because of the plates crashing against each other, the pressure builds up and there's a sudden release of pressure and some of the crust is destroyed. The next type of plate boundary is the constructive plate boundary and this is when the two plates are actually pulling apart. So one plate is moving one direction and the other plate is moving the other direction and it's causing a separation. So it's causing a separation along here and what's going to happen is it actually creates land. So instead of destroying land like a destructive plate boundary, this one actually creates land. The best example for a constructive plate boundary is the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. Where Iceland is actually formed on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. At constructive plate boundaries, you get a lot of volcanic activities. So you've got a lot of volcanoes. And this is because magma moves through the cracks from the crust and then it actually cools and forms land. And like I said, a good example is Iceland along the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. And the final and third type of plate boundary that you need to know is the transform plate boundary or sometimes called the conservative plate boundary. So at transform plate boundaries you get a lot of earthquakes. And this is because the plates, they're not pulling away from each other or, or meeting each other straight on. They might be rubbing, oh, sliding past each other. And what happens is you get a lot of friction. You get a lot of friction along this point here as they rub past each other. And that creates a build up of pressure and then it might and then they might slip or move and that gives a sudden release of pressure which causes a lot of earthquakes. The best example is the San Andreas Fault in California. At transform plate boundaries, you don't get any volcanoes. You just get uh, high magnitude earthquakes, but you don't get any volcanoes. Okay, that brings us to the end of this tutorial. Um, if you enjoyed the tutorial, can you please leave me some feedback on my YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash exam revision. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And if you would like some more videos, you can check out our YouTube channel or you can go onto my website www.examrevision.ie From the next video of Wrestles Earth, we're going to be looking at some of the landforms that are created, such as volcanoes, volcanic islands, and ocean ridges. And we'll be looking at the advantages and disadvantages of these uh, landforms that are created. So please, if you would like to look at, uh, learn them, please go onto our website and you can get the other videos.